Hi everyone, my name is Matheus Marcelino, and today we we'll talk about a plugin developed by me to parse docx file, like a template. A uh, little bit about me. I work with Murilo in DevCoff, and I was introducing this community uh, since 2016. The motivation to develop this plugin uh, is a frequent problem we face in every, every client. We will uh, implement the ERP. Uh, this case is a real case. We have a client with contracts. He works with contracts to sell products to do a kind of service and they have a, a template of contract and one employee to edit the, this, this contract every day with the information they are having in ERP. Uh, this is a massive job with a large number of contracts in a day, spending a lot of time from the employee. Uh, to solve this, uh, idealize a model that works with the existing structure of print format uh, to, to parse this docx file using some kind of similar to the context syntax and a simple docx file because I face a lot of problems to, to interpret the exam file behind the docx because uh, the file is, how can I say it, complex. Uh, I use the Apache POI to POI to, to do this parser. Uh, in some, in some cases, the file is, is broken, the structure, with, I will show it to, <coughs> to you. Implement the syntax I use is this uh, with at and the name of the column you want to show. If the column is an ID, uh, we can we can use this, that symbols to to take a column in the table like client organization document no and this is to iterate over the rows, like uh, order lines. The, implement the implementation is very simple. Uh, I just create a flag in print format that indicates the template docx. And we attach uh, a file uh, that we use to be parser. And in the sales order, I using the existing structure, uh, they already appears here. And I implement to docx and using the existing report viewer, I convert to PDF. So, but the conversion of images and tables aren't so good. So I just leave behind. And with uh, existing record, I, I can par parse the variables. And this is the final, the final result. I will show here. Here I, here I have a flag with uh, display logic in the tabs to appear just 
when when is not marked and here I have a file the template file it's pretty simple to to do this file, I use LibreOffice, but we can use the Word of Microsoft. So, uh, and this very simple, just some variables with the name of the column and the value you you want to display. Oh, okay. I think I have breakpoint. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is the final result by a template file with information of the record we want to print. we can use for for all all windows in the system and i think that's it as <laughs> this is quite simple but the problems to to implement this is with the f the docx format cuz the xml file is sometimes broken because of the structure I use of elements. The last element in a docx file is a run that contains the text to be parsed. And sometimes the, the file broke in this at in two runs different, so we cannot parse. To avoid this problem, I found uh, an exec in C sharp to clean up the, the file. And, and then we can use this in a simple way. I think that's it. With and I have these numbers of uh, improvements in the daily printing. Consider these numbers, 10 minutes per contract, 10 contract contracts per day, one hour and a half per day per employee, uh, 18 hours in one day per week lost, in one month, four days in a year, one month and a half lost in a task that can be automatable. And that's it. Any cast any questions? Yeah, are you using Apache Poi for this uh, <coughs> analysis of the .x document yes. and all the modification? That's the only library that you're using. I use Apache Poi and I text, I think. Ah okay, so for the PDF and the Yes. Yeah. This is the libraries I use. Marlon? Okay. Uh, can you show again the example of your template? Okay. This template file. Uh, this is written manually, yeah? Yes. By a developer. But the user can change it. Yes, user can change it. It's just uh, like this. Uh, the... the, the, the the help I give to to the client or to customer is to to go there, take the name of the column you want to show, and put 
put there. It's quite simple, but can't modify at all. One more? One more question? question? Do you have any control of how the data looks, like justification and things like that? If you go back to your, your, your output. Uh, repeat, please. Can you display the, the output document? Oh, OK. Final document? Is that? Yeah. So for column like line amount, how do you control the justification to make it left, right justified? Or can you do that inside what you've developed, or do you still have to do that somewhere, somewhere else. Okay, uh, the, the style of the document, we can, when the file is parsed, you maintain the, the style. Is that question? Yeah. We edit just like this uh, in the template, like this, uh, attaching the print format and there'll be Maintain the the style. Uh, one one problem with the style is a variable has to 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 have the same style in the entire word. Because if don't have, it, they will break the variable and cannot be parsed. But in the exec I found and modificate, we have our option to clean all the styles and just maintain the raw file. And works perfect. I think that is it. Some questions? No? Okay.